Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I thought I would do a quick video on tingling and numbness and I have actually addressed these two symptoms before. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a video called neurological symptoms but I kind of wanted to go into depth a little bit more about how these two symptoms um, affected me and how I kind of dealt with them. So I went through a period about a year ago where I had like crazy neurological symptoms um, and I find that with people with um, health anxiety they tend to go through different sets of symptoms so some people it might be very like cardiac symptoms they might have chest pain palpitations shortness of breath all of that other people might have um, digestive system problems you know they'll have like changing bowel habit maybe they're constipated maybe they've got loose stools stomach pain whatever and then other people kind of fall under the bracket of neurological symptoms. And for me, the neurological symptoms always frightened me the most. I mean, don't get me wrong, they all like they all scared me at some point. But I think the neurological symptoms made me feel as though I was like losing control. And that, you know, especially when I was having like um, uncontrolled movements and stuff like that, it was just a really horrible thing. So I went through a period about a year ago where I was having twitches um I was having um, like sharp shooting pains all over my body. Um, I was having myoclonic jerks, I was having hypnic jerks, and I was having tingling. And the tingling um, actually started at the tip of my nose. And I, I noticed one day that I felt like this weird fuzziness at the tip. And I kept kind of like wiping my nose thinking there was like a cobweb on it or something. And it just persist it persisted for, um, well, I, it was a long time. I mean, I had tingling on the tip of my nose for probably about three months. Um, and it really freaked me out and eventually it kind of started to like spread across my face to the point where the whole left side of my face was constantly tingling. Now, at, back at this point, I had convinced myself based on that that I had either a brain tumour or MS and I went to go and have a brain scan. I didn't have any of them, thankfully. Um, so I know now that it was all anxiety. But at the time, it was like absolutely terrifying. And I had tingling in my hands, tingling in my feet. And then I just had random patches all over my body. Like I remember I had like an area on my thigh that would just consistently tingle. And I also had an area by here on my bicep that would tingle. And it was really strange because it was just these random patches of skin that would have this issue. Um, so that, that, that kind of happened first. And then I started to get the numbness. So first of all, I kept waking up at night time and like all four of my limbs would be completely dead. And it was like, it was like utterly terrifying because I had never had anything like that in my life. It very much felt like the sensation of when you wake up and you've like, you know, you've fallen asleep on your arm or something, but it was all four of my limbs. And um, obviously I freaked out back then. I was like terrified and I was like, why does this keep happening? What's happening to my circulation? Like, is there something wrong with my nerves? Um, and that continued for, again, it was it was a couple of weeks. And then I started to get it in the daytime. So I would be sat there and I would feel that my leg would just go numb or my arm would go numb or both my legs or both my arms. And the more that I stressed about it, obviously, the worse that it got. And this kind of, the tingling and the numbness, they lasted pretty much, I'd say, for about three, four months. Um, getting the... Um, the the MRI did help me because I think once I knew that I had ruled out kind of like a brain tumour and MS, um, I did start to see a reduction in my symptoms. But it did take a long time for those sensations to completely go away, especially the tingling. The tingling really persisted for quite a long time. And it was at that point I started to look into the just the correlation between anxiety and, and tingling and numbness and kind of learning about, you know, the how adrenaline affects our body and why these sensations happens, which sort of made me feel a little bit better. And then, you know, back then I was on all of the um, the health anxiety, like support pages and lots of people were, were dealing with the same thing. So that kind of reassured me that what I was dealing with was not uncommon. And actually lots of people deal with tingling and numbness and it's quite a, a common manifestation of anxiety and panic. So, um, that did help, um, but essentially it, ju it just took time for those um, feelings to go away. I had to basically 
reframe it in my brain and just think, right, this is a symptom of anxiety. It's just like having headaches. It's just like having digestive system symptoms. It's just like, you know, having palpitations. It's just anxiety, um, you know, coming out in your body and it's coming out in tingling and numbness. And once I kind of accepted that it was anxiety and nothing sinister or nothing that my brain was kind of conjuring up, I did see that over the course of the next like couple of weeks, the symptoms did go away. So that was 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 really tough for me because I had never experienced those sensations before. I mean, I've always had the twitching and I've had lots more anxiety symptoms, but I think it always kind of freaks us out when a completely new symptom pops up. And, you know, it's really hard to convince ourselves that it's you know, that it's anxiety because it's not something that we've had to deal with before. I mean, I know now that I get twitches, I get palpitations, you know, certain sets of symptoms. I know that they are my anxiety symptoms and I can kind of like cope and deal with those. Um, but when the new symptoms come about, it takes a lot of willpower and sort of like a lot of self-talk to calm yourself down and say, hey, this is very, very likely to be anxiety it's still a potential even though I haven't had this symptom before I really believe that anxiety kind of uh, our brain realizes that we have started to kind of ignore the old symptoms so it's like hey we better we need to grab her attention so let's try something else and I really feel that that's what my body does to me because I can see over the course of the last couple of years that my symptoms have changed and new ones have come about and old ones have disappeared and the pattern of my anxiety has changed. So I think it's the brain's way of trying to, to reel us back in. But I just wanted to put this video out there just to reiterate the fact that I have dealt with tingling and numbness. And like I said, it was very scary, especially when the tingling was all down the left side of my face. And, you know, I was like, this can't, this can't be normal. I just couldn't, couldn't see in my brain how that could have been anxiety, but it was. Um, I haven't had it since, you know, it's been well over a year now and I haven't had any tingling or numbness. So that's really, really good to know. Um, but at least I know now that if I ever did have a bit of anxiety and those symptoms did come back, then I know that, you know, it's my anxiety and, and I've had it before. So I hope this video was um, helpful. I know I don't have a great deal of tips like some other YouTubers do. Um, I feel like I'm still very early on in my... Uh, in my anxiety kind of recovery um but when i do have tips for these things you'll be the first people that i share them with but um if you have experienced this please comment down below so that other people can have a little read and feel comforted by the fact that it's not just them um and i will see you guys very soon on my next video bye